On behalf of the University of Strathclyde, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to you to this congregation for the conferment of degrees here in the Barony Hall. Today is a very special day in the university calendar. It's a graduation day which makes it a day of celebration for our graduates, for the family and friends, but also for all the staff of the university. And I can't think of a better venue which to start that celebration than here in the Barony. In the United States, they refer to these events as commencement ceremonies, as they use them to signify the beginning of a new journey. And it is in this spirit that we also celebrate graduations at the University of Strathclyde. Now, in a few moments, it will be my privilege to cap each of our graduates as their name is called out and they come up on stage to receive the reward. The capping tradition has its roots in ancient China and it's recognised as a rite of passage and as a mark of achievement. And for each of our graduates once capped, this signifies that they are now part of a community of scholars at the University of Strathclyde that can stretch back over 200 years to the Scottish Enlightenment. So they've been in very good company. At the close of graduation, we have a reception in our nearby Lord Todd building to which everyone is invited to come along and to celebrate. We also hope to have an academic procession from the barony over to the Lord Todd. That would depend upon the weather, which is looking quite good just now that we'll get an update on that towards the end of this morning's proceedings. In the meantime, I do hope that you enjoy the ceremony, and when you see your loved ones come on stage to receive the rewards, I would strongly encourage you to celebrate. These occasions do not come round very often, and for many, they're once in a lifetime. So let's make the most of it. I now formally declare that this congregation for the conferment of degrees is open, and I invite Professor Dimitri Dukakos the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Engineering to present our graduates to receive their awards. Thank you. Vice Principal, in the name of the University and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students for the degree of Doctor of Engineering in Non-Destructive Evaluation, Ailey McGillop. For the degree, for the, for the degree, degree of Doctor of Philosophy for research in the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Ibrahim Abdallah Mohammed Abdesalam. <laughs> Fahad Said S. Al Sokiri. Yiming Gao. <laughs> Michael Gordon Hogg. <laughs> Timothy George Harold Kelvin. <laughs> Timothy Lardner. David James Mackey. Alan Forsyth May. Tong Tsar. Bo Xiao. For the degree of Master of Philosophy for research in the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Lu Cheran. <laughs> for the degree of Master of Science in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Hu Rang Zhang. <laughs> in Advanced Electrical Power Engineering, Artithaya Chaitsana. Siton Chen. <laughs> Yi 
Yi Lin. Tian Kursin. Wen Bo Tang. Jin Tao. Bozri Zhang. Jin Min Zhang. Jajuin Zhou. For the degree of Master of Engineering in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Sohil Ahmed. <laughs> Kiran Boylan. <laughs> Ross Michael Bradley. Benjamin James Broughton. <laughs> Kenneth Ewing Campbell. <laughs> Alessandro Del Brenna. <laughs> James Robert Hopkins. Mark Jamison. <laughs> Marcel Casco. <laughs> Muhammad Amsmar bin Mohammed Atsman. <laughs> Paul O'Neill. Ranjiv Singh Panisar. <laughs> Julie Margaret Richmond. <laughs> Nadia Emilova Sevarova. <laughs> Mark Sindon. Fraser Matthew Stewart. Mark Waters. In Electronic and Electrical Engineering with Business Studies, Callum Robert Ferguson. In Electronic and Electrical Engineering with International Study, Robert Ian Hamilton. <laughs> Jordan Hanlon. <laughs> Mark Jenkins. Ewan McGill. <laughs> Katrina Rose McInnes. <laughs> Ruth Hannah McKelvey. <laughs> Neil Graham Mitchell. Ross Samuel Westwood. <laughs> In 
in Electronic and Electrical Engineering with European Studies of this VNE. <laughs> Mathier Bertin. <laughs> Roger Henry. In Electrical Energy Systems, Simone Lorenzi. <laughs> Joanna Sobon. <laughs> In Electrical and Mechanical Engineering, Waka Samed. Daniel Aitken. <laughs> Ewan Anderson. <laughs> Giacomo Corvi. <laughs> John Coyle. Ryan Dockertail. <laughs> Daniel Martin Faith. <laughs> Hasib Gill. <laughs> Finlay David Harris. Liam Kelly. Mark Richard John Francis Lang. Matthew James McInnes. Jennifer Claire Miller. Grant Douglas Mollison. Robert John Paisley. Hugh Simons. Craig Sutherland. Rebecca Francis Vaslet. <laughs> Jonathan Watson. <laughs> Mary Angus Wilson. In Electrical and Mechanical Engineering with International Study, Donald Mackenzie Bryson. <laughs> Kyle Barnett. <laughs> Callum Alexander Clark. Kieran James Fitzgerald. <laughs> Robert Joseph Fotheringham. <laughs> Thomas Gibson. <laughs> Kerr Alexander McIntosh. Eguin Vets McLachlan. <laughs> Basil Razouk.
Mark Stewart Aransiman. Adam Maury Stewart. Kyubong Wong. David Alexander Wood. <laughs> Hannah Lewis Wright. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Chi Chi Chen. Zhang Chen. <laughs> Paul Mari Corbett. <laughs> Alan Downey. <laughs> Fang Jin Yu. Yu Chen Hao. <laughs> Kamil Stanislav Kolesovsky. <laughs> Alexandru Corneliu Moldovan. <laughs> Chur Zhong Ni. Yu Di Shun. <laughs> Jun Jie Tu. <laughs> Wei Jie Yang. <laughs> Kai Wang. Jin Liu. <laughs> Hu Yu Chu. <laughs> Stuart Rankin. <laughs> C. Gare. Mark Stone. <laughs> Ryan John Tolland. <laughs> Sawi Wong. <laughs> Yu Chan Wong. Wei Chur Wen. <laughs> Chur Fen Wen. <laughs> Yang Yang. <laughs> Chi Hang Yuan. Sao Sao Jang. <laughs> Wei Hao Chen. <laughs> Yer Li Zhu. <laughs> Yu Ling Chen. James Mackenzie Corbett. <laughs> Ling Xiao Dong. <laughs> Mark Falconer.
Erfan Hematlu. Chet Zhi. Gary Thomas McGee. Ruri Worthy McPherson. James Robert Smith. Sao Yu Wong. Yao Wang. Chu Wang. Hao Yuan Xiang. Callum William Macmillan Young. Wen Chen Zhao. Ten Lu Chen. Shroor Chen. Stuart Christie. Hao Lu. In electrical and mechanical engineering, Stuart David Patterson. In engineering studies, Craig Loder Hennen. Vice Principal, in the name of the University and by the authority of the Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for the research in the Department of Computer and Information Sciences, Al Azwari Sana Mohammed Mahmoud. <laughs> Stuart Alexander Hanna. Jane Victoria Mycock. <laughs> Lauren Smith. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science in Information and Library Studies, Sandy Best. In Information Management, Thomas Edward Coleman. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Engineering in Computer Science, Craig Bell. <laughs> Ian Christopher Dobbin. Susanna Catherine Fife. Cameron Robert Guthrie. Jonathan Paul Jacobs. Scott McCulloch. <laughs> Edgar Malachowskis. <laughs> Lauren Smith. 
Laura Schoeneville. In Computer and Electronic Systems, Sean Campbell. David McNichol. Colin Douglas Ogilvy. Callum Grant Whittock. In Computer and Electronic Systems with International Study, Rachel Hutchinson. Greg Alexander Patrick. David John Smith. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Computer and Electronic Systems, Bogdan Christian Bartisel. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Information Systems, Craig Bustard. <laughs> Lindsay McCurdy. <laughs> Gino Batista Rondelli. <laughs> In computer science, David Adamson. <laughs> Mohammed Navid Uden Bakai. <laughs> Craig Chalmers. <laughs> Adam Alexander Dawn. Simon Fowler. <laughs> Fraser John George. <laughs> Ryan Colin Gibson. <laughs> Scott Henderson. Alex McBride. Christopher Peter McCready. Jamie McDonald. Thomas Maxwell. James Minnie, <laughs> Graham Sutters, <laughs> Gareth Martin Gill, <laughs> Craig Heron. Christopher Paul Lawler. John Alexander Lewis. Paul McGuck.
Stephen McLeod. Ramiz Mahmoud. Craig Morrison. Andrew Mortimer. Daniel Mark Rafferty. Omar Rauf. Amanda Rennie. David Stuart Waddington. <laughs> Katrina Weir. <laughs> Andy Elizabeth Anderson. Luke Robert Beveridge. <laughs> David Michael Clark. <laughs> Cameron Deans. <laughs> Fraser Dignan. Callum Forbes. <laughs> Fraser Haddo. <laughs> Paul Hay. <laughs> Alexander Kieran Jacobson. Alexander John Latham. Adam Lawton. Adam Fergus McGee. Colleen McElfinnan. Stuart Murray Pollock. <laughs> Richard Proven. <laughs> David Andrew Reed. <laughs> Frank Robertson. Gavin Squire. <laughs> Connor John Trail. <laughs> Keen Loon Wong. <laughs> Marvin Mary Brody. Neil Gilroy. <laughs> Sean Kennedy. <laughs> Louise Rose Souter. <laughs> Chushin Sandy Lean.
Richard Medix. In Computer Science with Law, Shannon Fitzpatrick. Stuart David Burns. In Software Engineering, James Henry. Kevin McCarville Payton. David Thompson. Michael Gallagher. Mark Lee. David Ian Leishman. Jenna Page. <laughs> Eden Smith. Jordan Wilson. Gavin Donnelly. Okay, thank you. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Mohammed Mohsen Shakur. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Computer and Information Sciences, Hossein Ramadan Ali Darbok. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Engineering in Electronic and Electrical Engineering, Zygmantus Rimkus. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, and most of all, Strathclyde University's newest graduates, it is my pleasure to once again warmly welcome you to our graduation ceremony here in the Barony Hall. Quite rightly, our graduates have been centre stage, and I would like to begin my address by congratulating all of you once again on your academic achievements. Your hard work has paid off, and this has now been recognised in front of your family, friends, and the staff who taught and supported you during your time at the university. As mentioned earlier, graduation is one of the great moments in the university calendar. This is a proud day for you, for your family and friends, and for all of the staff of the university. And we celebrate your efforts and your achievements. Very well done indeed. Now in a short while, at the close of graduation, you may be asked to join the academic procession as this leaves the Barony Hall, 
provided that the rain stays off. This invitation actually symbolises the fact that you are now no longer students, but full members of the academic community of Strathclyde, a community that numbers over 150,000 individuals. This is an important day for you all, and I hope that the memory of today is something that will stay with you wherever you go and whatever you choose to do in life. We will keep in touch with you through our alumni team, and I would ask that you also keep in touch with us. Let us know what you're up to, what you think about what we are doing at the university, and what you would like to do to help future generations of students. As Strathclyde graduates, you possess some of the most valuable assets anyone can have in today's world. A capacity to absorb knowledge, together with the ability to use this for the benefit of your community and the wider world. Nelson Mandela once said that education was the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. Do not underestimate this power or your responsibility to use it well. In Scotland, we are fortunate in having a higher education system which is internationally respected and, as a society, we are quite right to invest in it. Education broadens the mind and creates opportunities for individuals and for society. However, education itself does not confer rights. The opportunities that education gives each of us also carries with it a responsibility to use what we have learned wisely and for the good of others. A sense of duty should come readily to graduates of this university. As Strathclyders, we only have to look at the achievements of those who have gone before us for our inspiration. To John Anderson, our founder, who established this university for the good of mankind. To the world's first oil man, James Paraffin Young. To the missionary and explorer, David Livingston. To John Logie Baird, who did such pioneering work on the development of television. In the present day, we look to Dame Ailish Angelini, a pioneer in Scottish justice as the country's first female Solicitor General and later its first female Lord Advocate. And to Sir Tom Hunter, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Scottish history and a philanthropist who has used his wealth to the great benefit of others around the world. I am sure that you have been given lots of advice on how best to plan your life. Some of this advice you will accept, some of it you will rightly ignore, but most of it you will have to learn for yourselves. Robert Louis Stevenson put it well when he said, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Now to reach this point in your life today, each of you will have traveled a different journey. For some, the path will have been relatively smooth. For others, this may have been more challenging. However, I am certain of one thing, that none of you would be here without the active support of your family and friends. They have picked you up when you have been down, they have encouraged you when you have needed it, and many will be here today, proudly watching as you cross this stage with broad smiles and the odd tear in their eye. Now they are celebrating today, not just because you're almost off the payroll, but because you carry with you their hopes their wishes and confidence for a successful career. For the past half hour or so, their applause has rung in your ears as each of you in turn crossed this stage to receive your awards. I would now like to invite all of our graduates to show their appreciation for the support received from their family and friends. I touched earlier on some of the key figures who have helped to create and shape the University of Strathclyde. And you can tell a lot about the values of an organisation by looking at its roots. Strathclyde traces its lineage back to 1796 when Anderson brought it into being, the only Scottish university founded during the Age of Enlightenment and embodying the Enlightenment principles of reason, tolerance and equality. Anderson's belief in useful learning and his commitment to taking knowledge and using this for the greater good is a motivating force which drives Strathclyde University today. This can be seen in our pioneering law clinic, 
where our students provide support and representation for people who cannot afford legal advice. And it can be seen in our Hunter Centre for Entrepreneurship, which contributes directly to the development of the Scottish and the UK economies. It can also be seen in our Technology and Innovation Centre, which was opened by Her Majesty the Queen. The centre is already transforming the way in which academics collaborate with business, industry and the public sector to bring global competitive advantage to Scotland. Now, these represent a small sample of the many innovative projects being led by our world-class staff and students who are taking new knowledge and using it to solve problems in industry and in the boardroom. Other highlights over the last year include David Smith, a fifth-year CES student who was recently awarded the QS Unisolutions Impact Award and the Best Student Mobility Experience category for his remote monitoring project in The Gambia. Adam Polak, a joint engineering doctorate student between Tripoli and the Fraunhofer Centre for Applied Photonics, was awarded a prestigious fellowship from the Royal Commission for the Exhibition of 1851. Synaptec, a Tripoli spin-out company founded by Philip Orr, Paul Nevchaz and Campbell Booth, has partnered with Scottish Power, GE Grid Solutions, ABB and the University of Manchester as part of a £9 million programme to help deliver a smarter electricity network for UK customers. David Crawford and Bob Stewart of Tripoli's Centre for White Space Communications are working with the Scottish Government, BA Systems and CloudNet to develop and implement a TV white space pilot communications network to support the delivery of broadband services in rural locations in Orkney. Our advanced nuclear research centre recently appointed John Baxter, CBE, as its chairman. John, who was group head of engineering at BP, is providing strategic leadership for the industry-facing centre, which builds on Strathclyde's 60-year track record of supporting the nuclear industry with energy research and technology. And Damien Anderson of Computer and Information Sciences, who was recently awarded the prestigious Robertson Medal, presented annually by the Carnegie Trust to the most outstanding student on its PhD scholarship programme in Scotland. These are just some of the many contributions being made by our staff and student. And Strathclyde is being increasingly recognised as a place where things happen, and this is why our graduates are so highly prized by companies and organisations looking to recruit the best talent to drive their businesses forward. Scotland punches above its weight across the board, and I know that the future of Scotland will be built upon the quality of its graduates. However, regardless of their discipline, all of our students learn how to be innovative, enterprising and creative, and they make a real difference when they go out into the workplace. So wherever your career takes you, always remember that as a Strathclyde graduate, useful learning carries with it responsibilities that go beyond academic scholarship. And finally, let me offer my sincerest congratulations to you all once again on your achievements, and I hope that you enjoy the remainder of what is a very special day. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that now concludes the formal part of this morning's proceedings, so I hope you enjoy it and you take away very many happy memories. I would remind you that we do have a reception immediately following over at the, the Lord Todd, to which everyone is invited to come along and get some refreshments and celebrate. I'm looking at the back of the hall here, and I've just been given the thumbs down. Well, so... Right, I'm getting a thumbs up at the back, and I'm getting a... I'm going to ask this again. <laughs> I'm looking at the back of the hall. Who's opened the doors? <laughs> Is it a thumbs down or a thumbs up? It's a thumbs up. Great. <laughs> you, were right. you were right all along, Nicola. So the weather has just stayed good enough that we can have an academic procession from the Barony over to the Lord Todd. So I'll take this opportunity to invite Strathclyde University's newest graduates to join this academic procession. 
And if I could ask, ladies and gentlemen, for you to remain in the hall till the academic procession passes and then follows directly over to the Lord Dog. Thank you.